What's up guys? Captain Chris Blanchett here. Uh, out here today on Lake Murray, the home pond. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple fish. Give y'all a couple tips actually on what you can look for. Right now it's kind of that November, December, kind of late fall transition period. So looking for a couple different things. Um, you know, a lot of times this time of the year you can catch them off of deeper rock piles, brush piles, channel swings. You can even catch them shallow cranking as well. So we'll kind of mix in some live scope stuff. We'll mix in some just kind of regular fishing down the bank stuff, uh, but should be a pretty good day regardless. Another just nice quality chunky little bass here on Lake Murray, man. Love catching these fish, kind of showing people how to use, you know, their electronics to catch just good solid fish like that. Being able to catch those really good quality fish like that is what makes Lake Murray so fun right now at the end of November. I mean, you keep doing this, you keep doing this, and kind of grinding through numbers, and at the end of the day, you know, you're sitting, you know, 15 pounds, 17 pounds or so. Good, just chunky fish, man. This time of the year out here, these fish are so thick. Really nice bass on here, guys. That's a good one on the worm there. Man, that thing's a football. Check that out. Really good fish. Love catching those Lake Murray fish like that. That's what makes this lake so cool, man. Got another good one here, guys. Check that out. Another really pretty one hooked in the top of the mouth, which is where you want it. This is how you catch them on Lake Murray. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And if you want more for more tips and tricks, and then if you want to actually book a trip with me and come out here, I'll coach you on how to catch some of these fish because I love coming out here fishing and uh, you know, I've grown up here my whole life. and. Uh, you know, I just love coming out here and catching these fish. So check it out. Shoot me a DM if you're interested. And obviously, if you want more tips and tricks, hit that sub button for me. And so a lot of times this time of the year, these fish are in the very backs of the creeks, right? They're following that shad and that bait fish back here. Uh, you know, it's definitely something where they, uh, you know, they get in that really skinny water. You know, so there's different ways you can target them. You can catch them on things like this, like a little tiny worm. You know, you can catch them on moving baits like a crankbait. You know, I've got plenty of crankbaits tied on for us to use today. Flukes, topwaters, pretty much whatever, you name it. Um, but they'll group up in little concentrations in here. And, um, you know, you just kind of mill around until you find exactly what you're looking for. And then once you get on them, you really can catch a number of them in a heartbeat. Hooked up with another one, guys. Chunky. This is a good one, dude. Stud. That is an awesome fish there. That one's probably a five and a half, six pounder. Chunker. Good one, man. All right, guys, that's it for the day. Ended up, uh, had an awesome day. We got a huge bucket mouth right here. Um, you know, he had an awesome day. Awesome. Dude, Good absolutely, fish. absolutely. Here, found it. 
killing it. So you want to catch fish like that? Come fish with Coast to Cove Charter. Shoot me a DM. Y'all have a good one.